It's a nice boat. Yes, it is. The little ship. The little ship. That's right. This is... This is the number one cutter off of the Battleship New Jersey. The original Battleship New Jersey. We'll overlay a picture of it or something in the video. Yeah. But uh, when Alex got this boat, he got it from the same guy I'm trying to get the French engine from, Charlie Cicero. And he got it as a, uh, basically, a completely wrecked rotten banana peel of a hull with no engine, no boiler, no fittings, no tanks, no anything. Uh, the only reason he did get it is because he was able to verify it was, in fact, the original NJ-1 cutter. And um, he said, uh, I'm going to make it brand new, better than brand new. And then he did. And he was serious about it. And he put untold amounts of money and resources and labor uh, and, and, and the right way, too, um, into it. And he made it look like this. And it's not done. You know, the floor isn't finished. The, the, uh, the bunkers aren't done. The chimney, you know, everything, the deck isn't finished as, yet. As a matter of fact, the chimney is Sitting back there, back it's there somewhere. It's grass cladded. Yeah. You know, but um, it's a pretty standard U.S. Navy setup, which is the strange thing is no engine-driven feed water pump. There is, of course, the engine-driven wet air pump, this guy here. But um, the feed water is done with a duplex here and a duplex there. They are completely independent from each other. They don't go to a common feed water rail. They, um, they inject there and there. Steam takeoff, of course, is from up there. And then uh, the hot well is that. Right here. And there's no float or anything. It'll just be the oil separators, the loofahs in there. The loofahs are very good oil separators. But it just weirds me out. There's no engine-driven feed water pump. Kind of uh, not my speed, but uh, he made it. He made it exactly as it was and would have been. There is not one thing on this boat that is um, altered in any way. I and I love that and respect it because it's exactly the way it should be. There is not one inch of electric wire for anything. There's not <laughs> an electric bilge pump. There is not one stupid little electric light anywhere on this boat. All of the oil lamps. Were, were found and restored properly with the burners in them, and I'm going to be helping him get those working exactly right. Uh, there's, so there's not going to be one watt of electricity being used when this boat is running or at anchor. Um, and when we run it, I'm going to come down and be its engineer, and I'm probably going to sleep on it as a security measure and as a, uh, you know, because these wooden hulls, they do let in a little bit of water, especially as they're swelling up when you just put them in. So I'm probably going to have to be here to be its bilge pump which is fine. That's the right way to do it. Um, if you did it any other way, you know, with any modern additions or modern thinking, it would be disingenuous. And, uh, and I can't stand that. So, so this is um, excellent. I don't have one bad word to say about it. <laughs> now, it's unusual. Now, uh, for those who don't know, tell them what is so significant about this cutter and the new jersey that it was part of why the is the great white fleet <clears throat> that's what this went everywhere the great white fleet went uh and um as far as i know he went and found the original engine this is a navy e uh, technically an e2 which means it was built in a specific place i can't remember where um but uh you know it's just, I can't wait. To this get is this, running. this is going to be amazing. The day that it happens, I'm I'm really excited. So up there, of course, there's the wheel, the famous wheel. Now up front, over there, on that little one thing over there, um, that little nub, that's where the gun would be mounted, right? That's right. He's and he said he was going to fire it this week, right? Yeah, he's going to fire it. He's Excellent. Got powder for it. Um, I'm trying to remember anything else. Can't remember that much else, but it's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful yeah, he's, vessel. He's done a stupendous job. Now, and, and it's so it's, it's so not, pristine. It's not not only can you find a, a rich guy that yeah. cares that much about oh, history. Oh, absolutely. And it's so pristine, we actually take our shoes off. Well, you have you have to. My solution is I'm just going to wear nice shoes. And I'll have a pair for the ship. and a Like pair the actual not, Navy. Not Yeah, a pair for not the ship. And um, That works. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. 
we'll take a look at the outside because we we see the inside but a lot of people really don't know what this cutter Tell actually me if the looks like is a midshift because if it isn't i gotta put it back yeah absolutely a giant solid bronze cut water there beautiful nj of course Oh, perfect. What? You have the rudder just about at midship. It's an American boat. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's yeah. going to be, as far as I'm concerned, there's going to be no costume wearing, no stupid fucking hats, and no stupid fucking play acting. There's just going to be, you're going to run the damn boat. <laughs> The most beautiful boat in America. This should be the this should be the the symbol of American maritime preservation. This thing.